Okay, so this is a year and 79 days. Year and 170 days. So the rescue ship is uh, coming in first. Alright, let's go for that. I had it really good? Well, thank you. I hope so. But uh, some people want it down to 15 minutes. I assure you there are people who want my videos much shorter than they are. So, yep, it's, it's sort of like that, always. Alright, speaking of things I would edit out, here we go for the long time warp. Doesn't seem much like a mid-course either, to be honest. Um, you're, you're thinking perhaps in terms of distance, but it is mid-course in time. You, you have to remember that we are slower on this side. It's very mid-course, actually, when you consider where it is. Look, it, uh, it was a hundred, uh, one year and 70 days, and we're two years and... Uh-oh. Oh, no! No, wait. Ha. Really? Hold on. Music. I'm not. I'm not in favor of music right now. <sighs> I'm just gonna proceed. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. There we go. Let's get some happy music. We're not over yet. Okay. I don't know why it's fluctuating so much. Oh, probably SAS taking electric charge. All right. Yeah, we we can't unlock RTGs yet. We're nowhere near that. Mod propellant only works if you've got control. Uh, you have to have at least a Kerbal in, right? Gotta have a Kerbal in, I think. Forgot to. Well, okay. I guess we should reserve batteries. That seems to be, everybody seems to agree that that's okay now. So, uh, let's see, let me open up the service bay. Find a battery, and we'll lock this one. What about the fuel cells? I, I still haven't gotten to unlock the fuel cells yet. Yeah, apparently you can unlock batteries even without control, and that's... That's a thing which I've often thought is not kosher, but but of course that's sort of how real space missions work. They do shut down the thing and have it hibernate, go into hibernation mode, and then revive it out of hibernation mode once it gets to its target. So if they do that with their real space missions, I guess we should be able to do something similar here. Well, let's see what's going on. Whoa, that's not what I expected. Oh, I bet it's one of those... It's gonna have two options for what's really going on things. Let's see. Yep. Man. KSP. I'll just leave it like, be like that. We have to hit Lathe after all. So, we'll leave it like that for Leaf Encounter and switch to Jewel Station Redux. Okay, well this seems to be a little bit better off on the whole soul panel placement, but let's not take any chances. Uh, yeah, let's uh, roll this and lock the battery as PL Spirit, uh, oh no, uh, Mikey suggests. They'd at least have the computer to keep orienting it towards the sun, correct? Yeah. 
so one battery sealed. Okay, let's see how close that gets us. Pretty close. Pretty close. Alright. Uh, let me go back to the tracking station to see which one actually gets into dual system first. Okay, let's see. 385 days. One year, 45 days. Or, uh, 58 days. So, dual station actually gets in first. So, back to Jewel Station. So at least we'll get our funds in first, and then after that we will we'll do the rescue mission. Okay, here we go. This has to air break. And I'm gonna say Shall we go for 194, 193? We want to hit uh, Val at the end of it. So where were we? What, what what did we do last time? I think we did 192, didn't we? Okay, votes on Periapsis. I'm gonna set it to 193, but you guys can comment on what you think it ought to be. All the solar is gone? Well, let's orient and see. Well, I'd say we have very little solar input right now, but uh, let's time warp, let SAS stabilize first. Well, it ain't much. Okay, let's see the numbers. Uh, Kadarkas just wants me to burn up or hit Val. Uh, 193.1, 193.7, 194. Air on the side of Con. Uh, 195, you can always make a second pass. Ah, but will 195 actually be enough to get us a capture? I only get a second pass if I capture. Well, our inclination seems excellent, so hitting Val shouldn't be a problem with this inclination. Now let's fine tune this. The other mission? No, no, uh, the other mission is way off. Or not? Wait a minute. Oh, no, it is. It, yeah, yeah. It, it comes in here. It comes in here. Whew. Yeah. So it'll, it's going to slow down and hit there. No problems. Yeah, stock, no alarms, 70 days or so, something like that. Uh, <laughs> it'd be terrible if he missed a chance to blow up. Uh, that's one way of looking at it. Okay, wish I had a probe core that could hold retrograde. I should get the hex in. Oh well, we're now under acceleration, so physical time warp time. Please flip and hit the Atmo face on. We already did that with Lathe one time. I'm not going to try and repeat that. If necessary, I'll turn on the mod propellant to make sure that doesn't happen. Currently building the A10 Warthog as attack choppers fly over your house. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Oh, the cubic octangs. Oh, crud. Cubic octagonal struts do not hold up well in heat. We have discovered this. Otherwise. Not yet captured. We still haven't captured yet. So, uh, yep, 194.3 is too high. Calling 194.3 too high. Right. Retro burn. Well, while we're here, let's target Val and see what kind of situation we can get with it.
Philo. Okay, that'll be... well, okay. It'll be excellent if we can actually get it to admit that there's an encounter there. There we go. Maybe we can adjust a little bit... I don't want the inclination adjusted, but maybe we can adjust a little bit to bring it in and have it boost our orbit up. I'll take this. Okay, solar panels out. We are uh, we've got a little jewel station here. And we are also going to be rescuing a Kerbal from Lath, but not with this mission. This mission is going to be set into Val orbit, if possible. Okay, that's worse. Okay, there we go. Hey! I saw that Val periapsis. I want that Val periapsis. Give me the Val periapsis. There we go. Alright, well that'll have to do. Val doesn't have atmosphere, so we can skim it as close as we like. Okay. Okay. Well, we have to stay in... Oh. Oh! We got the new orbital station round jewel contract done. Okay, that's good. That was sort of a surprise. I thought that maybe they'd not count this weird orbit, but uh, we've got that contract clear. So all we have to do is to get into orbit around Val. Yep, just checked on that sea ship. Yep, yep. We got lucky. The contract seems to be more lax than, you know, I would allow it. I mean, I wouldn't have accepted this as a jewel orbit, but... But thankfully we work for kinder, gentler companies. It was suborbital until we boosted our, uh, used Val to boost our orbit into this thing. So it accepted this. I thought it might require us to uh, pass Val before accepting it. That was what I was worried about. Okay, well, uh, retro burn doesn't seem to be too bad, but let me double check what kind of fuel we have. That's a poodle, so 350 ISP, 1740. So we're good. Music sounds like I'm going about to attack. Well, it's 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 actually ear breaking music. It's supposed to be the atmosphere attacking me. Let's uh, go back to arrival music. We don't have to get in a tight orbit anyway. Let's leave it there. Okay, we've achieved goal. We've got orbit around Val. Alright, this mission is complete. And we will leave it here for now. Let's go back to our more critical mission. Okay, we've got an interesting approach here. Uh, okay. Solar energy seems to still be alright. Looks like we're oriented properly, I think. Wow, not seeing a Leith encounter at all. How's that even possible? Target position to closest approach. Oh, there it is. How did I manage that? Use the... Uh, this handle instead. But that's pretty high. Seems like... Oh, okay, there. It brings us into orbit around Jewel. Well, with a crash course at Jewel. Mm, 
not exactly what we want to do though. So how low do we go again? We gotta set it to 36 first. Oh, not that. Anyway, let's go for this. Uh, can I... no. Alright, well we'll adjust, we'll fine tune it as we get into the late sphere of influence. Alright, here we go. We better not accidentally pass it, otherwise we're going to be on a crash course for Jewel. So let's pay attention here. Okay, we should try and make sure we're coming in pretty darn close to the way Sidri is. Or at least not totally retrograde from it. So let's pay attention to that. So Sidri is in this multi-purpose rescue here. Well, saying that as target doesn't really help me. Okay, we actually need to come in down. We need to come in low. Not high up like this. Otherwise we're going to be rotating the opposite direction from Sidri. Well, that's probably the best I can do. Can't really tweak it sideways, after all we're coming in like this. Oh, I accidentally touched the handle there. Okay, so let's do this correction. Yep, fine tuning before entering Leaf Sphere Influence, but there's a limit to how much we can do. How far off is it? 65. Sixty-five degrees. Um, is there any way we can tweak this more? Let me just check where that has improved our situation after all. Yeah, it has. That's uh, about 10 degrees better. Maybe we should continue in this vein. Sorry for taking so much time on the fine tuning, but I really want this to work this time. There is not going to be a rescue of the rescue of the rescue. I don't want that to happen. All right. Make the P line up with the target orbit. Yeah, I'm trying. We're not too far off. But, yeah, I think that's good enough for me right now. Yeah, Sidri can, uh, a higher capture will make it less costly to correct. Yeah. So the question is, is this a good place? But the question is whether 36 kilometers is where we want to be. I'm gonna bring it into Lacer Influence now. Okay, remind me, what was our periapsis last time we did this? Is this good? Or is it too high? Let me close solar panels while you guys... 33,000 last time? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, if it, what, uh, and we got captured safely, was it? 33 was too low. Okay. I have lots of Delta V, but let's not push it. We have to bring, we have to rendezvous it and bring him back. Um. Yeah, uh, so, let's see. Let's go for 35 this time then. Yeah, well 36 might not capture us at all. It's my uh, it's always my my worry is not getting captured at all. Uh 
And of course, with uh, the jewel side, we already did that once. We uh, we failed to get captured, and we had to do a bit of burn. So I don't want to be too overly cautious again. Yeah, let's go with thirty-five then. And uh, you see, the reason I'm more concerned about uh, not getting cap uh, captured at all. Well, I guess it doesn't really make any sense. Let's just go for it. Here we go. Okay, wait, this is a little bit too soft. Going back to air breaking music. Here we go again. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Don't stop that. Stop that. Stop. Oh, crud. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, SAS off. I think that's more explosions than I wanted to hear. <laughs> Dark Chaos! Dark Chaos, why aren't you here? What is blowing up? I almost hesitate to ask. Oh, crud. Oh, more. We're not even in orbit yet. What? Okay, uh... Still go- well, we're going up now. Nose cones! Yeah, well, nose cones clearly got- well, the bottom nose cones didn't, the top nose cones did. Okay, well, that's orientation change. We are about to get captured. Okay, we, we need to have three here. Advanced nose cone. Cubic octagonal struts. And more cubic octagonal struts and the photovoltaic solar panels that we expected to have destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, after all those explosions, we are still good. <laughs> after the horrible reorientation... I should have checked the center of mass versus center of lift of this thing. Um, yeah, it just wanted to flip over. Is 35 okay? It might be. It's bringing us a little bit too close, but... Well, we're still flaming like crazy. But now we're out of it. Uh, what was that camera change? Well, it wasn't for suborbital, so that's good. Cubic... The cubic octagonal struts do make the biggest booms. That's serious stuff, and yeah, always open solar panels, bad. Wow, the parachute's almost almost in trouble there. Probe core might go. That probe core is in the service mod, the uh, service bay. You think it might go? I don't know. Oh, RCS tank, yeah. Well, we don't want to do any more heating this time around. So we should have, uh, let's get into stable orbit and see if we can have Sidri meet up with us. We don't want to use the fuel in this, but the fuel in his pod is completely useless right now. We can't transfer it over here. So we should try and uh, have him meet up with us. But first we have to get into a stable orbit. Wow, wait a minute. Guys, our ablator is still going off. 
uh, notice this. As I time warp, the ablator is diminishing, even now. That's some pretty serious stuff right there. My goal is to rescue a Kerbal from Leith. We've got a Kerbal stranded in the... Well, not stranded. He's got about 1,200 meters per second of Delta V, but that's not enough to get home. But he's in this multi-purpose rescue vehicle, so we already tried rescuing him once, and we're trying to rescuing, uh, rescue him again. Alright, let's change over to Sidri and see if he can rendezvous. Uh, hold on, let me get my electric charge all nice and squared away proper. If I can, is there any sun? Yeah, there is. We're not getting much sunlight. SAS is taking too much. Okay, now we're okay. Alright, back over to Citri. Okay, so let's say I do a maneuver here to match inclinations. We didn't do too bad, 33.4. How much does that cost? Oh, that's, that's nothing compared to what we had to do last time. Alright, and at the same time, can we do a phasing sort of thing? Probably not, because we'd escape. Yeah, we'll just have to do one thing at a time. Missed the stream on Wednesday. How did the previous rescue attempt fail? Lack of fuel, because cause Sidri was in one of these. He was, he was in this orbit right here. And it took so much fuel to match orbits with him, we didn't have enough fuel to get him back home. Okay, so now we, we've matched inclinations with our new rescue vehicle. And let's see how our phasing can go. Yeah, and then we have to match speeds, which is really annoying. Two kilometers. Oh, just turning around gets it between 0 and 2. Alright, let's get closer. Now, let's see if I can use some mob propellant to get us a little bit closer here. Well, not that ways. Probably not that ways either. I think uh, 300 meters is good. But how fast is the gap? Oh, wow. Well, okay, that's because we're going in opposite directions, but this still gotta be a tough correction. Uh, we've got a lot of difference between us and the target here. I'm gonna start burning it now. But uh, here you can see why we had trouble last time. Well, I guess we do have mod propellant, so I can just use up this fuel. Let's leave a little bit, though. Uh, well, yeah, he's not in range yet. Okay, we better... Uh, no, no, switch to it. Ah, oh, crud, come on. Shoot, um, we need to switch vessels. Okay, uh, that's our target. Oh, this thing turns like... Wrong way, wrong way. Still got a lot of little overheating markers on. Okay, set. Pressure of having people watch my every, every move. Well, yeah, I guess so. 
can't really say that I wouldn't have made the same mistake anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's head over to that point. Alright. Honestly, the music is increasing the tension by quite a lot. At least those temperature gauges are down the green. Yep. Somewhat comforting. Now let's just point towards it. We'll go with RCS now. Easier will EVA will be easier if I make both vessels point to normal. Um, okay. Okay, normal. Well, normal we have to go to orbit view. Um, I don't think it makes much of a difference, honestly. But, hey, whatever. Okay, both vessels are pointing to normal. Right, Sidri, I think you're pretty much out of what you can use over here, so let's have your EVA. Alright. No, we're not, uh, we're not lining them up that closely. For the solar panels to be a problem. All right, board. All right. Well, now we not only have a full stage equivalent uh, to that rescue thing, we also have an almost full stage with a poodle. I think this can get Sidri back. But oh, what's what's happening here? If anybody's interested, someone posted a ton of pics from the bureau. Yeah, I saw those. Everything's just falling apart. Two orbiters just sitting there, all dusty. Do you want to post that SU25T? We have our Sidri in a good location. And yeah, uh, we'll have to transfer him out. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've done three hours, so I think I'm going to call it a day here. We'll transfer him back to Kerbin tomorrow. So tomorrow we will begin with the full rescue of Sidri, being, bringing him back to Kerbin. And then we will handle whatever else we can. We've gotten our funds back. Uh, thanks to the two contracts being fulfilled and so we can look forward to uh, bigger and better things now planning a flag on plan a, planting a flag on Laith I think I'll hold off on because uh, because we've done enough around Laith recently I think we'll spend time in other places all right so uh, yep I'll leave it at that thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the stream and I'll see you tomorrow 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. GMT. Alright, so uh, yep, see you then.